Our extreme cold is being blamed for this mess. Frozen pipes and broken pipes flooded a Taylorsville business. Yeah, new special Sandra Adams talked to the owner on the moment that this store was suddenly underwater. Andrew, what they have to say? Well, you see the caution tape out right now. It is very slick outside of Gray Whale here in Taylorsville. When some fire suppression pipes broke, it created a massive mess really fast out in front of the store. You think about all the people downtown and stuff that are stuck without the ability to have a place to go. When the temperatures dip extremely low. Being this cold, I, I can't imagine. There are far worse places to be than a music store. Not the best time of year. <laughs> Dustin Hansen just didn't realize what the weather could do to his storefront. And when we got here this morning, one of the uh, fire suppression pipes in the awning was sticking down really low to the ground. Soon, there was a leak. And then within about 25 minutes of that leak, we heard a very loud burst and uh, rumble, and it sounded like someone turned on every shower in the apartment. Water started pouring through the windows. And then it just started to flood through the windows into the floor this way. Workers have been cleaning up a mess ever since thanks to an apparent system failure and frigid outdoor temperatures. It couldn't withstand and it started to froze and as it started to thaw a little bit, they, the pressure grew and the pipes exploded. The owner says thankfully, his worker moved fast to keep the records and CDs dry. She kind of saved the day and we were able to salvage all of our product and pull it back here out of the way. Temperatures for now may continue to be well below freezing. We're lucky and fortunate that we have a place to go and we can, you know, this is the worst thing that happens to us. Hansen is just grateful to keep his record store above ground. It's unfortunate and scary, but I, I'm really glad that we kind of came out as unscathed as possible. We'll lose a couple days of business, but we'll be okay. Well, Gray Whale's owner says should be later in the week, perhaps next week at the latest, that this location reopens. Of course, the one up in Riverdale, he says, is still open, but just one of many waterworks issues out there. In fact, Salt Lake City Public Works alone says 130 calls there about water freeze-ups today. Just messes all over the place.